Hello and welcome to Lich Tips for Firing Range. So first of all, tip one. So the fastest way to kill normal is with a perma spike. I haven't tested if a perma spike is enough for elite, but I don't think it is. So this week is a, a little weird. You start with them 39,000 wave 39. So you only have one wave to build a perma spike. So anyway, only really a normal. But with a perma spike on normal, it's RNG. So you want to put the perma spike on far, and you want to make sure it lands right there. Not there, but here. That's the fastest place. Just get a spike 39. And then you keep the, the you could actually keep the elk and then send 40. It's kind of depressing that you know the spike doesn't hit immediately. But you know it's faster than mobile limb. So even though it healed, it's okay. So that's how you kill tier 1 quick. Now for elite. Elite's a little more interesting. So on elite your budget is very limited. So on Elite, what you want to do, primary mentoring, make sure you sold all of your primaries before getting the bomb, before getting the Elim. So go for an Elim. Now go for an Assassin. And yeah, an Elim and two Assassins should do the trick. Now they should all be on strong. And this is how you kill e the, the tier one fast. Do not mean to use an assassin there. Hopefully it won't hurt us. Ah, oh god, I'm, I'm using the assassins. You, you're not supposed to use the assassins. I use them at unnecessary times, but they're okay. But we're fine. We'll meet again. Anyway. That is how you do tier 1 on Elite. Now the tier 2 Elite is a lot more interesting. So for tier 2 Elite, you could use one of the two options. Actually, there are three options. One is Puma Spike with Homeland. But the thing is, you have a, f a couple options here. First, you could put a Puma a Spike like you did on Normal. And then tank your times. You know, just tank your time here with a Homeland and Overclock. And overclock. And this might be a little slow, but you know, it gets the job done. It gets it 
killed in like a minute. Make sure targets there and here. I mean, make sure targets there and not here. It's a bit suboptimal, but we're not really going for a good time here. We're not doing an actual rank boss. And as you can see, I'm 60. You should sell the elk. So let's just give it, you know, a rough demonstration of how it should look. Sell the elk. And yeah, sell pretty much everything that's like important. And it should kill it in around a minute. So that's option one. Option two is to use four strike subs. Four, four, four strikes in one rejuve is kind of brutal though, so I wouldn't recommend it. So that's why I wanted to recommend. Way two, there are three ways. Now, way two, you get an invisibility potion. You put a spike here. It does not reach normally. But with an invisibility potion, it does reach. And you want the false targeting to be right like above. You want it to be, yeah, like that. And right there, it will, like, damage Lich. You need an invisibility potion to execute this technique, though. But this is very optimal. If you could get an invisibility, invisibility potion, I definitely recommend this. And now for the third and final approach. The third and final approach is bringing back an old meta. For this you need around 250k to execute. You need a homeland. Triple Moab. You need one Rejuve at least. You need you probably want a discount village here. And you want like twenty fifteen ish spawns. Like sixteen spawns. And after you get about 15 sp uh, spike storms, 17 walks, you use them in chunks. So first of all, since let's just fall away, you don't you it doesn't heal. So you use homeland, then use like eight. Now you use another eight. I think I scuffed it up. Now you, yeah, I scuffed it up because in my mod there's like some weird thing where BFB spawns. Usually it'll be mobs, which is a lot easier to deal with. This is not part of the situation normally, but I have to use it because of the mods. So you so you use whole land and like nine spawns and then send eighty. I mean 60. And there you go, the cripple walks. I actually think I need, a, I think you need a little bit more. 
on the on the lich firing range, you you probably could set get settled with like seventeen. But since like yeah, this map has since it has void HP, is it's it's not like in, implementing the de decreased HP feature. You need like eleven in like one batch. I know how to describe it better. So a batch should last two skulls. So every two sc skulls use a batch. Now you read you. Use homeland in another batch. And this is a very fast way of killing it. The thing is, you need good money to do it. And as you can see, this is probably uh, just as good as like the level 14 Geraldo invisibility, invisibility potion method. But there you go, that's how you do it. And it's a pretty quick kill. Now for 80. This would lag my game too much, but for 80 you have one over two ways. One is the NG Paragon, which I wouldn't recommend. This is the one I'd recommend more. The NG Paragon's classic. You want a 50k support temple. You want to spam deadly spikes around the like the, around here. Make sure you're buying and reselling homeland. And you could go, and it's pretty flexible. You could either A, 10x Ultra Booster Perma Spike, or B, which I'd recommend you could get Spike Storms. So you have to make sure each spike is overclocked and Ultra Boosted, and each spike, you know, hits where it's supposed to. Now you get like as many overclocks as they are, they are spikes. And like overclock them. And this by itself should do a good portion of damage. With like all debuffs and stuff. And if you're really sweating, the, and if you're like CGM level, you probably could get this to work. With just this. But I recommend getting more. So on 80, you want to get like 25-ish spike storms. And remember to sell your bus when the lit spawns. So yeah, 25 spike storms plus like two regions would go absolutely ham, plus those deadly spikes. Now for tier four. Tier 4 is kind of hard to insta-kill. I mean, you could probably do, you probably need to insta-kill tier 4 if you're going for like a CGM pro level run, but like, if you're just going for top 50, you don't need to insta-kill um, tier 4. But anyway, these spikes should be enough to insta-kill tier 3. They're kind of getting laggy even now without me building the full defense. This map has a huge disadvantage. Like, Super Brit is, you know, harder to get. I mean, you can place it here. But yeah.
So as you could see, the homelanded spikes, they should like not be close to it. Also it would heal it, which is not what you want. Now you could like rejuve and stuff. And this should be plenty for tier 3. And this would do like a full tier 3 insta kill. As you can see, it's kind of getting scuffed because the, we have overclocks. But trust me, it, it, it can insta kill tier 3. Tier 4 is hard, harder too. Now for normal. For normal, it's the same type of thing but less scaled, less dramatic. So it's easier to get insta kill. For tier 1, it's pretty much the same, like my promo spike strat. It's kind of depressing that you can't get a full insta kill on this map. So for tier two, you out you have like two options. One is like the level fourteen Geraldo Perma Spike Strat, and option number two is a lot more mild. It's a lot you know more more lax. All you really need. Two discount villages. And 14 spike storms. You don't need copper of spikes, you just need 14 spike storms. And there we go. Since I like lost money from selling the carpet of spikes, I'd assume it's about a 150k setup. With like a cripple moa. And this is not part of the setup, but you could get a balloon master alchemist because I mean because of the annoying BFB that spawns out. And as you could see, for like 150 grand, you activate seven for two schools, and it should handle it. I forgot you need your all the level eleven. Then you activate another seven. Let's re-execute this because, yeah, Drawler needs to be 11. So we use 7 Spike Storms for 2 Skulls. Use another 7. Two Skulls. And then you use another, and then you could use your rest. And that should handle the rest of the skulls. And just like that, you beat it. That's how you insta kill tier 2. Normal. Or you could use a promo spike. But these spike stones are just faster, and I'd recommend them more. And you need like a camel potion. It's a bit of a mess. These spike stones are better. But in co-op, I, I definitely do the promo spike, which I showed on Elite. For 80, it's more mild. You could you could you could actually skip spike stones for 80. The more spikes, the faster the kill though. So honestly, you could go pretty bare bones with the um, tier 3 eight, normal kill. Tier 3 normals are very easy. The bare minimum setup you could do is like a support temple, plus a, a level 14 Geraldo camera potion, which you should have by now. Spike on far. It should actually be like here. 
You actually don't even need a camel potion if you have a support temple. Hell, you don't even need a support temple. The bare, bare, bare bone set up for like tier 3 normal. Like this. This, this right here with a homeland and two overclocks. And this right here could literally insta kill tier, it could literally insta kill tier 3 normal. That's bare bones. But then you could add like more if you want. What, but you need, even for tier 3 normal, you do need debuffs. Since like 77 through 80 are long rounds, it's pretty easy to do it. As you can see, we even messed up. We really messed up. As you can see, the cripple mob is targeting the zong. It's not even like targeting the thing that we want it to, and we had like 36k left. I mean, yeah. I mean, it should work in normal practice. But if you want to be safe, or you can go for spike stones in a support temple and make it look like more like an elite kill. For tier 4, you just do true sun god, spike stones, spam, yada yada, and same with tier 5. And, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Bye bye.